Woohoo! Today is the 29th of August. Alright, here we go. And we're going to try to do these push ups a little bit closer to the ground this time. Zebedee. Oh yeah. Whew. I can feel that in my. I feel that in my uh. My shoulders. Fresh air in here. Sweet. So you some water. We'll be right back. So awesome. So awesome. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, <clears throat> musicians are trying to do push ups closer to the ground now. What some people call a real push up, but that's debatable, as I discussed earlier. <clears throat> Oh, kills. Oh, Whew. sweet. <clears throat> boom, 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 chicka, boom, 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 boom. Getting almost ready for one last set of 70. Boom. 
And those are right to the ground push-ups too. Those are right chest to the ground pretty close. More so towards the ground than my rest of my push-ups. So I mainly did that because I wanted to switch it up for one. I wasn't I wasn't opposed to going all the way down to the ground with my chest. It's just I wanted to work the agitator muscles or the I forget what it's called, something like that, the the tertiary muscles, the muscles inside the muscles. I basically I basically know that if you work a full extension of an exercise, you work certain muscles. If you do a half extension of an exercise, you work other muscles. And if you do even lighter than that, you work a third level of muscles. And it's totally true. There's like layers upon layers upon layers of muscles. It's like having skin on top of skin on top of skin on top of skin. It's all fibers. So if you can work, work in all those fibers, you're going to get a way more solid workout. Oh, 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 wow, crazy, ow, Whew. that was awesome, oh, I'm going to try to do that one more time for you guys, we'll see, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome though, 210.